You know, Jesus was speaking to his disciples and he talked about how hard it was for a rich man to go into heaven. In fact, he said it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to go into heaven. What was he really saying there? He was saying when we depend on things other than God, it becomes very difficult to be and to understand and to grow and accept what God has for us. I'm going to read something to you out of Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. It says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. See, when he was talking about the camel going through the eye of the needle, the camel had to do something. The camel had to take everything off. It had to unload all of its wares and and everything, and it had to get down on its knees, and it had to go through the little gate called the eye of the needle, and it had to worm its way through the eye of the needle. In order to do that, it had to, again, it had to be totally stripped of everything other than just itself. Here's Here's my four points to consider. Christ's work leaves no place for pride in the educated follower. Do you understand? If we understand what Christ has done, then we understand our inability to approach Christ in any other form than humility. He's done everything for us. There's nothing that we can add. Point number two, humility is the only gate that leads to God. Our stripping ourselves of anything that leads to pride, of of only offering ourselves as a result of His mercy. How powerful. Point number three, We cannot stand in our work and Christ's work as well. That camel can't keep anything on. In other words, we can't come to Christ based on on our good merit, our good intentions, even our ability, but we must in humility throw ourselves completely upon His mercy, not just for salvation, but for power to live out the salvation that He's granted. Point number four, obedience, not performance, is God's expectation. Obedience, not performance, is God's expectation. What does that mean? It means Christ now expects us to simply be obedient to the leading of the power of His Spirit in our lives. That's our call, to glorify Him simply through obeying Him. Listen, real problems require real solutions. So I want to encourage you to dig deep in God's Word today.